Get ready, ladies and gents. As someone already told you, every streamer has a merch shop, so you should have a merch store too. Or a merch store is another easy way to make money. Today, we're going to deep dive into the top five merchandise stores for live streamers. I'm your host, Wogo Z, tech enthusiast, gamer, live streamer. It's also true that only big fans will buy your merch, but a merch store is something that can grow with you and your audience. Try to make something nice too. Put a, a bit of thought into the merch store itself and the designs that you put out because in order to sell, it's got to look good, right? Also, if you stream on Twitch, your subscribers will have access to discount in a few of the merch stores that we're going to talk about today. Let's dive right into it. So first one is Stream Elements. If you're looking for a turnkey solution, easy to set up and easy to maintain, Stream Elements is the merch store for you. It's a really, really basic merch store with a few selected products to customize. Let me show you. So you're going to create item, you wait that it loads up, and then these are the only options that you have. Let's say we want to go for a mug, right? So we select the mug, it will load up a new item, add the layers, your uploads. I have my GG emote. Let's put the GG emote. Let's make it slightly bigger so if it fits. And then it gives you lines so you can tell if it's if it's in the middle or not. At least you should. That's good enough. Also on the bottom left, you can see the print quality. So average is not that great. So let's say we make it smaller until excellent. So you want to make sure that it's excellent. So this picture is small, but if you upload the bigger picture, you will be able to make it bigger. But this is just an example. So you put in your logo, you put in your image, make sure that it's excellent. And then you go next, and then it will ask you the item name. Let's leave it as a mug. Create or not, you don't have to put it in. I like to put official mug. And then you can set the price and you can see the minimum price that you have to sell it in order to make a profit and also how much profit it is. I'm just going to leave you the standards. I would probably recommend to leave you the standard as well or make it slightly cheaper because unless you're a huge creator, you cannot charge a lot of money for your merch. And then you go seven publish. It will take a little bit, it will think for a little bit, and then it will load up again, and you will have your ready merge. I'll show you as well how the merge store actually looks. As I see, once it finished loading, you will see your mug here. So you can go into settings, and then you can set your store name. I'm just going to leave it as merge store because it's just an example. The email, when your requester will draw, will send an email with an invitation to our payment portal. So you want to put in your email and then the storefront had that image. I have this one. It was a long time ago. Please do not judge. And then you just go in and save. But this is how the actual merch store looks. And well, you can see for yourself. Very gamery. All right, next up we have Redbubble. This is good for whom is looking for more products and more customization. It's perfect from small to big creators. And you will be prompt to sign up. Once you sign up, you go on the top right and you go into account settings and then you go into dashboard. Once you get into dashboard, you can add a new work. Let's see if I can find an image that is big enough. So we have my logo right here. We'll upload it. There you go. So you can have it. So let's say title will be Wogo Z Shop. Then you can put tags if you want and a description. If you and also you can have more than one merch shop 
in Redbubble. So if you want to do one for your logo, one for your emotes, you're free to do as you like, or you can have all in the same one and have different collections. If you know German, French, and Spanish, you may do the translation yourself. Otherwise, Redbubble will do it for you. So you can see all the products that you can add. You just enable it. So now it's disable. You enable it, you edit, you can move your artwork just to make sure that it's in the middle. Or you can say center vertically, center, central horizontally. So what I would do is central horizontally now. You can set a background if you want. You can choose a pattern as well or offset grid. I'm happy with no pattern, just center horizontally, apply changes. And then you select everything that you want to add. So for example, with the mouse pad, the mouse pad is way too big. So you can scale it down just to make sure that it, it fits properly. I want to probably, there you go. So, and then we apply the changes. So it will be right in the middle. Pouches, there is a lot of merch really a lot of merch and you can just enable whatever you want then you get to the bottom and then you select for example i don't know photography design and illustration optimize if there is any mature content you make sure that you select it in this case i have no who can view your work is public then you agree to red bubble and then you save the work it's going to think for a tiny bit and then it will give you your store ready so this is everything in your store at the moment well it depends on what you selected and so if you're going to view it will show you your shop how cute is that and it's got lots of merch that you can pick from next one is spread shop it's very similar to redbubble i've read a lot of views online that the printing quality is a lot better on Spreadshop than Redbubble. I haven't tried for myself though. It's really easy to start with as well. So you just go on the left where it says designs, you upload your picture, it will take a few seconds to think about it, and then it will come up with action required, a screenshot, and then you click on the edit. It gives you an optimized version, confirm selection, and then, if you click on it, you will see some templates. If you don't like some, so for example, this doesn't fit, I'll just exit out. But if you go into all products, you can do basically almost the same that you can do on the other one, on Redbubble. So you just have to turn it on. And then if you don't like it, how it is, or you wanna change something. So for example, this one, if you click, all right, as you can see, they're all perfectly in the middle the way they're supposed to be so you just have to turn on whatever merch you want to use so let's select a few we have soft shell by any means i have my preference but there's a lot to choose so just have a look at the different type of t-shirts and just pick a few so we go as well so we got t-shirt we got hoodies male female hoodies we got for kids as well, out of the top of my head. You got shorts as well. Yep, so kids football tee. You got quite a few. Premium hoodie, you have baby suit. I, I will not add them, to be honest. Baby cap, you have seven different mugs because one is not enough. You got seven. You got all the different backpacks. And then you got hats, you got a million things. So you, you just go through and select what you want to have. And if there's anything unavailable, it will tell you at the bottom. So let's go back to the top and then we do done and then we do next. And then it, it would ask you for design name. So I will put logo, description, whatever you want to put it, tag, same thing. And then we go create automatic language, automatic language translation that is very important. So it will translate on whatever language the shop will appear. So choose three tags, tag suggestion 2024. 
logo and symbol right create then we'll create the shop for you so back to all designs and then and then if you go on the bottom left it will say shop and this will show you how the shop looks like this is a bit different from redbubble because redbubble creates it for you right you can customize this a bit more because you have general, you have info and CEO, but this is something that you do want to have a look thoroughly. You can change the appearance. So color and fonts, you have a lot of customization. So it becomes almost like a website. You can, you can run promos. You can see your margins here. Now for the next one, we're starting to get a bit more serious. Why? Because next one is Teesprings. You've probably heard of it. It's still very, very similar to the last two that we touched, which was Spreadshop and Redbubble. But it has a few nice features like integrations. So you get TikTok integration, beacons, Discord, YouTube, Twitch, Linktree. There you go. Only fans and pop-up shop. There is a disclaimer. So for YouTube and TikTok, at least, you, you need to be monetized. So with YouTube, you need to be monetized. So at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours watch time. And then TikTok, I think, do not quote me on that, it will be 1,000 followers. For everything else, it has a lot of integrations. Now, let's go into create products. So I'll show you a bit how it works. So they have an inbuilt platform to help you sell merch like a storefront. With that said, do not expect to make millions because the platform is oversaturated with designs that most likely, no offense, are better than yours and or copyrighted. So no competition. Let's have a look at how we make it. So let's let's do, for example, a beanie, right? We do a waffle beanie, oh, boom, boom, boom. waffle beanie. So we add an image, which is the one that we had before. It's taking a moment to think. So we add, so this is the body area that is very important to know because you don't want to go too far out because otherwise it won't, it won't come up in the design. Then you go continue. You can set a title, so I will say beanie. And then description, we say beanie. It's whatever you want, beanie. <laughs> beanie. And then you can set your pricing. So 35 bucks with $9 profit sale. Edit URL and all, I will leave it as it is. Existing stores, Wogos merch, launch listing. So it was going to take a moment to think and then we'll add it to your merch. There you go. So if you think you made a mistake, just look on edit listing and then you can change it. What I want to say is it will take you a little bit more time to set this up. But if you're monetized on YouTube, it is well worth to have a look at it. Because of the Twitch, Beacon, and Link3 integration, you may want to think about it as well. With that said, Link3 has got... With that said, out of the top of my head, you need to be at least on a pro plan, which is 20, 25 bucks a month on the top of my head, do not quote me on that. You need to be at least on a pro description with Linktree. You need to be at least with a pro description with Linktree on the top of my head because I do have the basic and you, only, and you can only add, with that said, with Linktree, you're able to add your shop only if you have a paid subscription because at the top of my head, the free subscription doesn't include the shop. I could be wrong. Double check that, please. But other than that, this is a great solution for a great merch store.
I deserve the best for last. Created by creators and for creators. I know, word game. But why this merch, why this is the best merch service, in my opinion, and my choice of store? Yes, I do have a store on fourth wall. But why is that? Well, it's highly customizable and the blank merch choice is almost overwhelming. The platform takes a small cut on digital products. Otherwise, it's fully free. And once you get monetized on YouTube, you can have the merch just below your videos. And when I say monetize, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And if you have to try a new live streaming platform, on live space fourth wall is integrated so if you're streaming on live space on your profile and below your stream people will see your merch products from fourth wall completely for free and you don't need to be monetized on live space everyone has access to this feature let's go create let's go create a product and then i will show you some hidden stuff the fourth wall has better than any other merch store on the market at the moment so we click into products you see i have already a few products let's create a new product something i have digital products design something new so we're gonna have a look so i'll show you all the products which is a lot but with that said and that's one of five pages. With that said, one thing that I noticed with the other merch stores is that they may have more products, but it's exactly the same thing. So they may have 15 different t-shirts. And to be completely honest with you, I only need a premium t-shirt, a normal t-shirt, and an organic t-shirt. So these are all the products that Fourth Wall has at the this time at this point in time when i'm recording the video they keep adding more stuff because now that i go through the list again i see a lot more stuff so what we do is we start off easy we do just a t-shirt let's see if i find what i'm looking for so i want a v-neck Let's see if we have a v-neck or even this tank top is not bad. But let's see if we find the v-neck male v-neck. No, I probably have to request it. So let's go back to the tank top. So it shows you how it looks front, back, forth. And you can choose between printed and embroidered. I prefer printed to be honest embroidered i had not just with fourth wall i'm saying in general it's really hard to design things that may look better slightly better embroidered but as far as designing printed is a lot easier to design so it's going to take a, th a second to load up there you go so upload your own design here so we're going to upload my picture I'll take a few seconds to think and there you go let's make it a bit bigger maybe our print quality good we're still on print quality good which is great we don't want to go too much that's good what do you reckon guys maybe it's that too big so let's let's make it in the middle like this better cool so we're going to next Initialize the rendering, so it's going to think about it for a second. It will take a few minutes. That depends on probably your internet connection on your PC. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But they very, very fast. There you go. So now you see how it will look like on a person, which is new. But you see how it's flatline perfect here. I don't know, I'm not a graphic designer. I kind of like it. So we do we do tank top, then description, we just put it tank top. And then 
you can choose the selling price. I will just leave it as it is. And it tells you how much you make per sell. And then you go publish now. All right, so the product is public. And that's how it will look like on your store. This is how my store looks. So we go back to the dashboard into products. One thing that you can do is collections. I have a few collection now. Let's create a new collection. So we do one that is actually, so we create a new one. Let's call it logo. And then we add products. And the last one that we added, we can add all of the other products. But since we have only one for that collection, you just add it, then you go save, and then you go save. Now, this is where fourth wall separates itself from every other merch store. And it's because it's a full blown website. So you can create a full blown website. I'll show you a bit of the back end. And then I will show you a bit what my website looks like. Position between Linktree and fourth wall at least for the link in bio so my link in bio would have everything so my my website will change in the next few weeks it will be still looking very much similar but it has more to it so do you know uh, do you know patreon well fourth wall has got a very similar sort of service which is called memberships now I don't have anyone just yet because they're fairly new. But what you can do is you can create posts. You can just create a post and you can add text, images, video, audio, and a poll. You can create video series. So you can add, drop a cover photo, and then you put the description. And then based on the post that you made with a video, See, you can drop a video or browse, or you can embed a video. You can create the video series. Then you have, you can see all your members here. Perks and tires. Now, you can create your own custom tires, exactly the same as Patreon. And you can have up to five out of the top of my head, five memberships, right? No, you can have a few ones. I would not recommend more than three if you are a small creator or you don't have a lot of following. Small creator is a very overrated term. So if you don't have much following, I will recommend not more than three like I have. And you can add perks and you can choose which tires you want to add it to. If it's a custom perk or you can do disco rolls, members only discounts, members only products or private RSS feed. This guy changes, and I will show you in a minute how they look on the side of the website. And then you got site design. So this is literally a full-blown website. So this is how my website looks at the moment. So I have my feature products. I have my recent videos that I did. If you haven't watched them yet, go watch them. And then I have one link only at the top that it takes you to the link in bio that I have at the moment. I'm transitioning. But that that should give you a bit of an idea what's possible with this. There you go. So these are the tires, how they look. And you can add TikTok. So let's go back to the homepage. So you can go into layout and you can add obviously YouTube feed, but you can add text, image, image with text, video banner, links list, which basically replace the need of having a link in bio. I will probably come back to fourth world fully with the link in bio. As soon as I have a great idea how to implement it, having link tree is more on having something easy ready to go while I work on a back end with fourth wall of making my fourth wall website even better. You can have a feature collection of your merch, tires, recent posts of the member section, of the membership section. You can add YouTube feed, TikTok feed, Instagram feed, donations, and newsletter. When it comes to donation, let's add it. 
I'll show you how it looks. This is how it looks. You can add it to any page that you want. So this is just my home page. Let's remove, but this is how it looks. You can create more than one page. So if you click on home page, you can go into pages and navigation and you can add a page or a link. So for example, this is my tips page. There you go, it's by itself. I will be going to link three for that anyway. And then you have shop all. That is not a menu, but it's accessible through the main web page. And that shows you all the merch products that you had that what well, that I have in, in, in this meantime. So fourth wall is basically a four in one solution for live streamers because it has Lincoln bio, it has merch store, it has tip jar or donation page and it's a full description website and a full-blown website that you can design completely for free so which merge service are you using or would you go for between this five let me know down in the comments below while you're down there don't forget to like and subscribe the video for more content like this now, wait, 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 before you leave, I've added a video on this side or on this side. I keep com getting confused. I'm sure you will like it. I will see you there.